Hi, this is Jamie Shanks at Sales for Life and this is Social Selling in 60 Seconds. I want to be able to give every sales manager the tools to be able to track the success of their social selling campaigns. So there's a couple things I want you to do to your Salesforce.com account or if you're a Microsoft Dynamics user or whatever CRM you use, make these fundamental changes and you will be able to track the activity levels. The first starts at the activity itself. Now, for many sales professionals, they log their calls and their emails in Salesforce under log a call. So as an example, I'll toggle to Salesforce. This is a particular account. You can see all the information. And under activity history, there is log a call. What we've created in here is you can create touch points made, touch point results, whatever you want to call it. Just call it logging something. All this is is the action and the result. The action might be, did they make a call? Did they send an email? Did they leave a voicemail? One of the triggers that you need to add there is conversations within LinkedIn. And of course, you could become very granular, uh, indicating whether this was a conversation in a group versus a direct message versus whatever you want. Whatever you need to capture, place it in here. This starts the activity-based tracking. So let's go back one. And let's talk about the next level of tracking that you'll want to create. The next is on the account and the opportunity source. The importance here, let me toggle to the top of this particular account. Let's go to the account itself. Now, the first button that I'd like you to add, we called it original account source. For some of you, it might just be called account source. The purpose of this is this is the beauty of LinkedIn. LinkedIn offers itself as a massive repository and database that can help you think through new clients and prospects that aren't in your CRM today. It is the absolute best dynamic database for that. So you may notice a new company in LinkedIn and you think to yourself, my God, they're not in our CRM. We need to make sure that we're tracking that company in our CRM. Well, where did you get that data? Did you get it from data.com? Did you get it from Jigsaw? Did you meet them at an event? One of those buttons needs to be LinkedIn. Okay, now that's your account source. Well, what about if we scroll further down and we look at the opportunity itself? So in the opportunity, let's dive into a particular opportunity. In the opportunity, you need to create an opportunity source. Now for some companies, you use leads and leads convert to opportunities. Uh, we at Sales for Life, as an example, we don't use leads that often. So we go directly to the opportunity source. And again, you're tracking. Where did we, how did we create an action to move this to an opportunity? So this account could have sat in our CRM for three years, but it was because of LinkedIn, a conversation via an email, a group conversation. I was sharing content and then they connected with me because they thought the content was great. Whatever that is, remember, the more granular that you are, the more effective this becomes. Make sure that LinkedIn is one of those buttons because here's the end result. I'll come to reports as an example and let me go to opportunity source and I'm able to determine right here all of the sources and the, where are we creating the revenue for our organization? I can determine exactly how many deals were because of LinkedIn. I could tell how many were because of external referral or as an example, website hits. I see all of this information around this wheel and it allows me to determine the amount of money that we're spending versus the return on investment that we're getting out of the solution. That's how, as an example, we know that the conversations we're having in LinkedIn are, the return on investment is incredible because the deals that are won from this, we know our cost and now we know the return on investment and revenue. So these are the changes that you're going to want to make in Salesforce. This is Jamie Shanks at Sales for Life. This is social selling in 60 seconds. This is, as you as a manager, this is going to make a huge impact on your social selling effectiveness.